In this video, I'll be going through the properties of a trapezium as mentioned below. Let's start off with the first property of a trapezium. There is only one pair of parallel sides. From the image that you see, line AB is parallel to line DC, and that's all. The second property that you can take note about trapezium is that opposite angles are not equal. Look at the picture given. In a rhombus, opposite angles are equivalent. Same goes to parallelogram. So it's good to notice that in a trapezium, the opposite angles are not equivalent. Now using the application, we're going to prove that opposite angles are not equivalent. So angle A is not equal to angle C, angle D is not equal to angle B. So let us now measure the angles. Angle A is equal to 127 degrees. Angle C is equal to 63 degrees. So we can say that they're not equivalent. Now let's find angle D and angle B. Angle D is 53 degrees. Angle B is 117 degrees. So again, they are not equivalent. I'm going to now prove that the opposite of angles in a trapezium are not equal by using the cutting method. So angle A is not equal to angle C, angle D is not equal to angle B. So let's start by cutting. To show that it's not equivalent, when I overlap it, you should see that there is an extra part in angle A. That shows that they are not equivalent. Now same thing, I'm going to cut angle B and try to overlap it onto angle D. And as you can see, there are some excess part of angle B again, which shows that it is much greater than angle D, and they are not equivalent. The last property we have for a trapezium is that the sum of angles between the only pair of parallel sides is 180 degrees. So let's take a look at this diagram. The only pair of parallel lines is line AB, that is parallel to line DC. So after finding these parallel sides, you will find angles that form 180 degrees. So we have angle D here, adding with angle A, giving us a sum of 180 degrees. Next, we will have angle C, which is here, adding with angle B, giving us 180 degrees. So now we're going to prove by finding the angle size. So let's try with angle D. The size of angle D is 51 degrees and the size of angle A is 129 degrees. 51 degrees plus 129 degrees gives us 180 degrees. So that's correct. Now let us find the next pair of angles. Angle C. We have 68 degrees for angle C and as for angle B, we have 112. So let's add them up. Angle C is 68 degrees. Angle B is 112. The sum of these two angles indeed gives us 180 degrees. So that's proven. Another way to find the sum of angles between the only pair of parallel side is 180 degrees is by cutting. So notice in the trapezium, there is only one pair of parallel sides. In this case, it is line AB that's parallel to line DC. Now, how do we find the two angles that adds up to become 180 degrees? You will see that between the two parallel sides, these two angles, they will add up to become 180 degrees. Same goes to this side. They will add up to become 180 degrees. Angle A plus angle D 
is equal to 180 degrees. Angle B plus angle C also gives us 180 degrees. So first, let us cut angle A. And as we slide it downwards to angle D, we should see it forms a straight line that indicates that the sum of these two angles add up to become 180 degrees. So yes, that is proven correct. Now let us try the other angle. We're going to slide angle C. We're going to slide it upwards. And similarly, it should form a straight line that indicates that both angles add up to become 180 degrees. So yes, again, it's proven.